Let's have a go at this question where we're going to show that y equals 2x power 6 take away 4 has no point of inflection. So this is a polynomial, it's degree 6, and yet it has no point of inflection, but that will happen sometimes. Like a quadratic uh, will have no point of inflection. The parent function of x to the power 4 looks like a quadratic but with a flatter base, also no point of inflection. And in this case, x to the power 6 will very, be very similar and that has a, a flatter base again. For a point of inflection to occur, there needs to be a com concave down next to a concave up. So it could look like that. Um, there's another example, x to the power 3, you know, looks like this. And this is another example of concave down followed by concave up. Okay. So if we're going to show that this function has no point of inflection, we need to show that we do not have opposite concavity like we do here. Right, let's give this a go. The first derivative is 12x to the power of 5 with no constant, and then the second derivative is 60x to the power of 4. Now for points of inflection, we take the second derivative and make it equal to 0. Dividing both sides by 60, I get x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. So that means if there was a point of inflection to occur, it would happen at x equals 0. Right, now let's have a look at the concavities. I need a value to the left of 0, so let's choose negative 1, and let's see what the concavity is there. Substituting negative 1 into 60 times negative 1 to the power of 4, we get 60 times 1, which is 60, which is positive, therefore it's concave up. And let's substitute positive 1, and we get 60 times 1 to the power of 4, which is also 60, which is also greater than 0, which is also concave up. So basically, we have shown algebraically that we have a scenario where 2x to the power of 6 take away 4 is concave up to the left of 0, and then it's concave up to the right of 0. And we can conclude, therefore, no points of inflection. There you go. Good luck with those questions.